some new members. Um, I thought we should share a little bit, a bit about ourselves so they know a bit about us. Sound good? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone say hello. Say hello. Bye. Bye. Good. Now that we've um, shared the lot, maybe we should talk about ourselves. Sounds good? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Should I go first then? Yeah, sure. Okay, because you know, I do anything for you, Doctor. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, my name is Sally, and uh, I suffer from Munchausen as well. I don't really, they just say I do. Um, yeah, but it just means I'm basically sick all the time, but I'm not really, they're just, you know, making it up! I'm going to Africa. <laughs> oh, don't mind him. He's just crazy. Absolutely not. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amanda, and I shouldn't even be here. I should be on a catwalk in Milan or Paris. I should be seducing sexy rock stars or doctors. <laughs> you just see, the thing with Amanda, she has. Uh, it is morphic disorder. What? So the way she sees herself is completely and unrealistically not the truth. So, yeah. Don't lie. I was a big star in Vega. The South Coast adored me, and then the world loved me. Okay, Sally, maybe we should have a little, a little talk about you now. We'll talk about your life. Yeah. What's wrong? Uh, I'm sick. Oh, just take the tablets and watch it, you'll be fine. No, but they didn't work. Dad, Dad, where are you going? And I should be better. Then why am I feeling so sick? <laughs> it's so stupid. He's a stupid doctor and I should be well and I'm not. <laughs> That's it. Hello? Hi, my name is Sally and I need to talk to my dad, Dr. Robinson. Yeah, I'm dying. No, you don't understand. I've taken everything, okay? I've taken all the bloody tablets that he's prescribed me and they haven't worked. I've had tea, I've had cold and food tablets, I've had water, I've had everything and I would feel a whole lot better if you just put my dad on the phone. Why not? Okay, if you don't put my dad on the phone right now, I'm going to swallow a whole bottle of pills. You hear that? You hear that? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Dad. No, I, I feel worse. No. But. No. Hello? Sally, being abandoned is a really tough thing, but today we're sharing it with the group. I feel like I've made some progress and I'm really, really proud of you, so you know, well done. Good job. Well, Hollywood abandoned me. I was going to be a huge star and then my mother fucking got in the way and ruined it all and, and it never happened. So, I was going to be this big of cheese four years in a row. I, I never knew you had some other issues, especially with a young lady.
don't want to go to fat parties. I don't want to go to fat parties. I'm not fat. Don't take me to fat parties. For large kids like you, all right, it's about time you need to get. Do you know how embarrassing it is to go to fat parties when all the other people are like forty-year-old women who never lost their baby weight? Mum used to say to me, she said, Your dad's a doctor, you'll be nothing, you little bastard. So when I was 17, one day, she was sleeping, so I walked into her room and I grabbed a pillow. And I put it on her face and I held it there. And she died. And for the first time, for the first time in my life, I actually felt happy. <laughs> I felt free. I feel comfortable in my own skin for what I was. And people wonder why I don't feel comfortable in my own skin. It was because of her. Okay, oh, all right, code red, code red, quickly, quickly. All right, um, yes, hello. Hello, yes, um, um, there's been a code red. Can you, please, can you please send someone over now? Yeah, yeah, it's code red. All right, anytime you're ready. All right, uh, yep, yep. Okay, code red, please send someone, please. Are you okay, baby? Are you all right? Can I give you a massage? Well, how about I do the routine I did in Milan? They loved it.
at you. I know what you're doing. I'm a doctor. I'm important. I'm special. Doors. Doors. Oh. <laughs> My legs are dying. 